Hi everyone, welcome to Beauty's Best Advisors. I'm Pierce and today we are here with Deshanka. Deshanka is a regional makeup artist for Lise Watier Cosmetics and the owner and makeup artist of Deshanka Beauty. Welcome Deshanka. Thank you for having me Pierce. So today we're going to talk about Lise Watier's Portfolio Color Corrector. So tell me about this product Deshanka. This is Lise Watier's Portfolio. It is Canada's number one corrector with five colors and it's enriched with vitamin E and it's paraben free. Every woman must have this in her beauty kit. Every makeup artist should have this in their makeup kit. And today, I'm going to show you how to properly use this product. Color Lilac. I'm going to place the lilac underneath Tessa's brow bone. I'm going to exaggerate it just to give you an idea. Anywhere you have a bone, you're going to place the lilac. You can even put the lilac at the outer corner of your eye. For us ladies who have fine lines or deep wrinkles, this is perfect to transform those lines and make them vanish. So anywhere you have a bone, don't be intimidated. If you want to voluminize your lips, we're going to place the lilac around the lips to create light. We're going to blend after. So anywhere Tess has redness or any imperfections, Which is usually women, we have the redness in our cheeks, on our chin, around our nose, under our nose, and a little bit on the forehead. The next the next color I'm going to use is ivory. Ivory is used for underneath the eyes. Usually I put a couple of dots under the eyes. I like to put the portfolio ivory right underneath the eye. Right here. Tess, please close your eye. You're also going to put portfolio on your lid. The skin on the lid is usually purple, pink, or red. And we want to get rid of that. You might ask me, well, Deshanka, when do I put on my eyelid primer? You're going to put it on right after you blend in the ivory on your lid. Or what I like to use sometimes is the Ecra Matte or Vanilla Matte by Lise Watier, and that seals that concealer in the eye. So the next color I'm going to use is beige yellow. And beige yellow is going to correct and conceal the dark blue on the inner corner of her eye. So you're just going to place it right here. If you have a darker skin tone, beige yellow can also be used on other parts of the face. And you can mix and blend with all the other colors. So the next color I'm going to use is brown. You're going to take the brown to contour. So you're going to start up at the top of the ear and you're going to measure at the outer corner of your eye. And you're going to take, take it and bring it right to the outer corner of the eye. Have a look into camera test. And then come on over. I'm also going to correct Tess's nose. So I'm going to take the dark color Start at the top of the under of the brow and go down the nose, right here. I'm going to shave off the tip of her nose by placing that dark brown right here. And after we're going to blend. I want to change her jawline. I want to soften it up. Put your chin down. Put your chin down. Right here. Under the jaw here. If your face is round, take 
the dark corrector and put it up at the top and also remember to put it underneath your jaw under the chin and blend so right now everything is nice and rough and I also like to take the dark and place it here around forehead because I want to make her forehead smaller have a look and now we're about to blend. Tessa's brow and forehead. You're blending in a circular motion. Don't be intimidated. When you hit the lilac, what you're going to do is you're going to brush it from the cheek out toward the ear. Close your eyes, Tess. You're going to pat over the eye. You're going to blend into the brow to blend that lilac in. For the nose, you're going to come on down with your brush and in. You're going to blend the green. You're going to tap with your brush. And you're going to blend up the cheek. Now we're coming to her contour. For her cheek, you're just going to go back and forth and then you're going to go in a circular motion like so. Go down the ear and her jaw, you're going to go right along the jawline. It really isn't a lot of work. I highly recommend that you get a brush that is short and stubby, like a Lise Wattier foundation brush, either this brush as well. You're going to go and buff that product into the skin. Or I like using uh, this brush here. It's a lot bigger and a lot quicker. So we just blend. Thank you, Tess. You're going to blend under the jaw, you're going to go forward under the chin, and down the nose, up the forehead, turn your head test, and again continue blending. Like so. Down the nose, tap the cheek. For under the eye, look up Tess. And also use your fingers. Your fingers are nice and warm. If you want, you can also use your eye cream with the light ivory underneath the eye if you want to have a thinner texture. By all means, do that and tap under the eye. You don't want to rub, you want to tap. That's the proper way to conceal. Close your eyes, Tess. On the lid, just blend a little bit. For the eye, again, you're going up. And you're highlighting her cheekbones. Now for the contour, back and forth, and in around circles. Down the ear, and again for the jaw. Larger brush will cover more area if you have more area or larger features. I highly recommend a bigger brush. I like to let the concealer portfolio cook. This will absorb into the skin and will give it a truer color. And once we've done that, you're going to apply your primer, your foundation, and your powder. And all in one.